Hello friends, how are you? I hope you're having an amazing, fantastic, incredible day today. My name is Alex and actually I have no idea what I'm doing here on YouTube. But today we will be trying, tasting and sharing our my first impressions on tattoo lipstick or cotton swab lip tint. If you don't know what this product is, it went viral on TikTok um, several months ago and it took several months <laughs> to reach me, so I received it just a week ago maybe and today we will be trying, testing and see how it works and if it's worth being viral. <laughs> if you don't know what cotton swab liquid lipstick is, it's basically a typical cotton swab. You break one tip of the swab, the liquid flows to another tip of the swab and you apply it on your lips. I have ordered multicolor. On the top I can guess that we have uh, received four colors. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you see it in camera or not, but my eye makeup matches my shirt, so it's kind of cute. Sorry. The name of this is Tattoo Lipstick Cotton Swab Lip Tint Multicolor. The brand, I guess, is called Free Spirit. Quantity 20 peaks, and they promised us that this product will be waterproof and long lasting. It has a list of ingredients, page code, expiry date, I'm surprised, <laughs> and manufacturer, address, distributor, another address product license, sh shelf life and made in China. A lot of information, I'm impressed. And on the back of the box we have an instruction how to use it. With the cotton swap vertically, break the end with a horizontal line mark. Lip to liquid will flow to another end. Wait for a few seconds when the other end will be full soaked with the lip to liquid, you can use it. And <laughs> it's very interesting, but the box is very similar to a secret box. <laughs> it's just was worth mentioning. It's really interesting for me. Let's unbox it because I haven't uh, seen what is inside. So we will see together. And of course, I don't have. Okay, let's open this together. Oh, <laughs> why is it so funny for me? So we have twenty cotton swaps. Sorry for noises. I'm very much confused because I guessed we had four colors. We had red lipstick, we have dark lipstick and we have uh, two um, packs of lipsticks that look similar or, um, or the same. But I guess that these are two different colors. Let's have a look, swatch them and maybe apply one color on our lips. Sounds great. Okay, we should break the tip. I hope you see what is going on here. We should break the tip. Oh, that's fun. Did you see it? The tip is now red and let's watch it. The color is nice and red. The lipstick is very liquid and it looks like a lip tint rather than a lipstick. I'm very curious to apply it on my lips and see for how long will it be there because generally I use uh, K-Beauty lip tints, Korean Beauty lip tints and <laughs> when I swatch them I basically end up with colorful um, hands <laughs> for a day. <laughs> Very interesting. So we will leave this on my hand and then remove it with water, rinse it and see how it goes. Let's move on and swatch the second one. The second one will be this dark red. Will be this dark red. I hope I will not get dirty because of all those lipsticks because it would look like me. I nearly ruined my floor, but I was very lucky. Let's watch it. 
The color is very similar to the previous one, but it is a little bit on the pink side. And the previous one was a little bit on the orange side. It has orange undertones, it has red undertones. Um, yeah, very interesting, very curious. Um, hmm, what do you think? So we have those two similar lipsticks. Let's try one of them and see how it goes. My hands are dirty because of the lipstick and now I see that it doesn't go off smoothly. So I think it is long lasting. I don't know guys, it's a magic for me. I think that the person who invented this thing is genius. Oh, this is dark brown. I like this color. It's like brown burgundy shade. Very nice, very cute. And this one is not as liquid as previous lip tints. So, hmm. So far, I like this one. Let's swatch the last color. I hope that it will be different. And see what will we get. For now, I'm just a little bit concerned about my fingers. I don't know if you see it or not, but. Um, they are colorful and dirty and I don't know why, because I haven't touched um, lipsticks with my hands. I think it will be purple. Let's watch it. Yeah, this is a dark cherry lip tint. Hmm. It will not be easy to decide which one should we apply. I think that they look nice and I didn't expect such a great variety of colors. We have this pinkish orange color, this pink color, dark brown burgundy color and nearly purple color. How do you think which one should we apply? Hmm. I think we should apply the last one because typically in my real life I wear dark berry cherry <laughs> lipsticks or the brown one. Hmm. I think that with my today's look I will go with the brown one, but I forgot which one was that. I think it will be this one because I don't know. I very much like that each product has its own protective um, pocket. <laughs> it's protective thing around and it's very easy, convenient and cool to take them with you and to apply it maybe on the go because they won't take a lot of um, space in your purse. So, very interesting idea. I am very curious to see how it looks on my lips. It's not very easy to <laughs> remove the tip, but it's a magic. <laughs> not on my carpet, not on my carpet. Oh my god, emergency, emergency. You're lucky you didn't see how I removed stains from my carpet and I hope my husband will not see this video because he will be mad. Let's apply the lipstick on our lips, not our hands. Oh, I'm I'm worried. I don't know if you see it, but I ended up applying the last color, the pink berry cherry burgundy color, because I just uh, mixed cotton swabs because in the swab color looks the same. And what can I say? First of all, swaps look the same. Swab, cotton swaps look the same. It's very easy to not to choose your favorite color. Second of all, it's a very weird feeling when you apply something on your lips with a cotton swab because you feel these tiny cotton swab hairs on your lips and I was worried not to leave this hairs on my lips so it was quite a challenge. I noticed that cotton swab dries really quickly and you have to apply uh, the color on your lips immediately after <laughs> breaking the tip because after that it will be really hard to um, apply it on your lips. The next thing is 
in general it is not easy to apply it took a lot of time for me a lot of applications and i had to layer this product on my lips in order to receive at least any color at all in addition to that um i hope you see it on camera but um, it applied not with an even layer uh, on that part of the lips which is closer to this i have more color and more product than on the outer part of the lips and this concerns me a lot and i have been trying to change the situation and apply it evenly but i completely failed so um the product feels stripping on the lips and dry yeah and a little bit sticky so I don't know about this one I've been waiting for some time till it tries and I still see footprints on my finger which when I touch my lips which means that every time I will drink or eat it will remove the product from my lips we were promised that it would be long-lasting and waterproof let's check if it's waterproof or not I have wet napkin and let's see how it works. I'm satisfied with the result. The napkin did its job. It removed a lot of product, but a lot of color is still on my hand. I guess this is a nice result for a cheap <laughs> product. So maybe this is a maybe from me. Let's have a close-up look at the mirror and jump to our conclusions. I spent some time <laughs> with my lips and my lipstick and I noticed one more thing. The product feels bitter on lips and currently in my mouth I have completely disgusting chemical feeling which I'm not fond of and I had a glass of water and it definitely removed <laughs> some of the products, so I don't think that this is waterproof or glass of waterproof. Conclusions! First of all, it was very interesting for me to try this product because it went viral. I think that the idea of lipstick in a cotton swab is definitely genius and amazing. I was very curious to try this and to see how it works. Very fun. But um, did I like it? No, because I didn't like uneven application, I don't like bitter taste in my mouth, I don't like that I have color on my hands, even though I didn't plan to do this and I was very careful while opening the cotton swab, if I can say so. And uh, the product feels drying and um, I don't know if it complements my lips or not, but Will I wear it in my real life? Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think so, just because I hate the bitter taste in my mouth. This is not how the lipstick should taste like. And <laughs> But I'm very curious about the idea and maybe another company or this company, any company will come up with a better formula, better consistency even consistency and I would definitely be happy to try the product or by the way if you want to send me product for a review please let me know in the comments down below or please reach me via my email which I have in the contact um, information on my channel or you can drop me a message on Instagram or on TikTok I would be happy to help you to review your products also Please let me know in the comments down below if you like the best watches, if you like the product, have you ever heard about this product before, have you ever seen videos of people applying it on their lips and um, yeah, I hope you are having an amazing, fantastic, incredible day today. Please be safe, I care about you and I am worried about you and see you in the next video. Bye! I'm already editing and I decided to film for you swatches a couple of hours later so pigment is still on my hand and on my lips so it's definitely long wearing and long lasting.